there's clouds going by. What did I say? 43? Yeah. So six, five, four, three. Oh, it's going to be two, give oh, one. On. There, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Hey, so tonight I'm gonna try for the first time to catch the International Space Station as it flies in front of the moon, which is right over my shoulder here, in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna set up my telescope. I'm gonna train it right on the north edge of the moon because the International Space Station from this exact spot is supposed to come right through the middle of the moon uh, from top to bottom. So I'm gonna get set up and uh, we'll see you back here at midnight. I want to quickly tell you how I ended up here. So I saw in the morning that there was going to be a pretty special space station transit of the moon about an hour from where I live. And it's special not only because of that, but because it's the moon's going to be full and the moon is going to be high in the sky. So that means that the space station at 250 miles uh, up in the sky is going to be about as close as it gets to me. So to see this, you need to be in a two and a half mile band, preferably in the middle. So I scoured the map and found a spot in a parking lot that's right in the middle, uh, meaning the International Space Station would go right through the center of the view of the moon. So over the two hours that I was there, the skies kind of went from cloudy and then clear again. And then two minutes before the transit, the clouds started rolling in again. And I'm gonna send you back out to that parking lot uh, with me seeing the clouds in my telescope right before the transit. Uh, clouds? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> that is horrible. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Look at that. How much time we got? One minute, exactly. That is so horrible. Uh, Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna start taking pictures. I think. Oh my gosh, it's gonna that be close. So bad. You might get. Uh... I feel like I need to increase the exposure just a little bit. Try to shoot it through the clouds. Come on. We're still alive. How much time we got? Yeah. All right, I'm taking pictures. What do we got? 43 seconds. Ooh. We got 47 frames per second. Come on. In the clear there. Oh, <laughs> just don't hit this big one. Oh my gosh. We've kind of got it. There's clouds going by. What did I say? 43? Yeah. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's going to oh, one. On. There, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, I saw it. Oh, that was epic. Oh my gosh. Wait, it, it's clear now. It went so fast. I saw one frame of it when it was right here, but I saw it. That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, in case you missed it, here it is again, and I'll three, freeze it for six, you five, for the single frame that was four, visible. Three, oh, it's gonna two, oh. one. On. There, I saw it. I saw it. I still can't believe that I saw that single frame in real time. Uh, my high-speed camera got a lot more frames than that, or at least a few more than that. So stay tuned. I'll show you that here in a few seconds. One frame of it when it was right here. But I here it is in real time from the high-speed camera, and I'll just keep replaying it. But even the frame rate of this YouTube video isn't fast enough to catch all of the frames because it passed through this area in 16 one hundredths of a second. To really see the ISS well as it passed through here, I need to slow this down drastically. So here it is slowed to 10% of the original speed, and now you can see all of the frames.
Here's a great single frame zoomed in from that video. And I think it's absolutely incredible the amount of detail we can see here. This thing is over 250 miles away from my telescope and we can see the gaps between the solar panels that are just a few feet wide. And all of the modules of the station we can see really clearly. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching.